or some of them. Some of them. Them hate ass bitches. The hate no, ass. No, it's actually our. It's probably our. The hate ass bitches. Can can I lean on this or? Do no? you know who I got that from? What? Um. I think Trisha Paytas used to say it. Used to say it. Hey guys, I released my vlog 12 minutes ago and I have 73 views. So when y'all start leaving messages to say that he's this, that, and some of the other, you'll make him feel relevant. But anyways. Um, I'm going to ours now. What did we do this weekend? We, um. What did we do? Had a garage sale. Yard sale. A yard sale. Yeah, we have a triple wide, no garage. No, we don't. <laughs> um, we, had a, um, we had a carport sale. I wish we had a carport. We don't have a carport. So there, the, it was okay, but I'll tell you what, I know, I'll tell you what, hey, Jocelyn and Paula and Karen, they don't, at least not this weekend, they don't show up like they do in Texas. Yeah. And they're very selective about what they want. In Texas, they'll be like, two bucks, what does it do? Oh, it, it, it peels the pineapple. You just push it down and it, and, all right. <laughs> you like twist it, you know? Here, and then there was a um, cantaloupe, like, you know, the apple one that you push? Mm -hmm. One of them was a cantaloupe. Just wanted a dollar for it. It was from Pampered Chef for quite a bit of money. Nobody wanted that. That was what, when I was working yesterday, um, Mandy opened up the yard sale, and, and I was like, how you doing? And she told me how much money that she'd made. And I, I said something like, well, we can, she goes, I'm selling stuff, homie. I was like, it's, wow, like, I it's, it's not like Texas where it's a free, I, and I, I didn't know that in Texas, like, Yard sales are a thing. Hey, Sherry. They are here too, but I think what what um, threw it off was that it was bad weather in the morning. <laughs> Josh said, "I thought it was funny." I know that I pinned it when I pinned Let me Sam's tell you something. comment. That hey. the reason that because <laughs> the fact that she was not blocked on that channel means that she has never, ever, ever come into this channel and left a comment. No, that, and that's what I said on my vlog. It, it, it's it's like when you, when they're craving your attention so much, you know, platform holders normally. Yeah. And called you a freak. Yeah, call me a freak too. I'm, I, am I a freak? But I mean I'm like. A, it, answer the question, am I a freak? Yeah, you, you are. <laughs> but <I'm>, when, <laughs> when you can't, when you're craving attention to the point where you got to go right into somebody's leave a comment in a tone too, like a, a big old long thing. Um, yeah, it's getting pinned. And let me tell you something. There's not a part of my body right now that's not sore. We'll say it's from the yard sale. Thank but you. someone said, if you brag about having good sex, you're really not yeah. having it. So we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about that. But we're too old to be doing trapeze stuff. No, I'm just kidding. But listen, um, so I was in the bathtub and I'm going to tell you what I, what I witnessed myself. I was watching... Trisha talk about Hello Fresh and bounce her boobs Listen and do her this. thing, okay? Like, like, like she does. I wasn't watching it. Wasn't talking about us. Kind of talking about Paula, but not talking about us. Tally, Buns, and Sam came in, and I have them blocked, so I couldn't see them, but I heard Trisha talking. And every time she tried to take the conversation back to Paula or back to something else, I watched them gas. I listened to them gas her up and mm. get her talking about us, and mainly. Sean again. Yeah. I watched them try to get her worked up. I'm telling you, man. I watched it. When the next, when something happens to that one and she has to go impatient or she has uh, one of those breakdown streams, you can thank Scamanta. I'm for just that. saying. And you the, can. And when people are like talking about like um, her, their army that will. Um, you know, defend it's it's those three with five sock accounts. Is that is exactly who that army consists of? Am I right? It, it's it. That's it. They don't have. I mean, look. If you're our friend See? or our moderators, they will, you know, like kind of descend upon you. But just just realize this. Trust me on this. It's like three of them. Hey, Lindsay girl. Like there's times when, you know, they'll say something about our friends, and Mandy will be like. Did you know that this was said? And I could, I don't. If you, you know, don't go looking at their stuff because really, it's not getting around. They don't have the power to do it. No. So, and I mean, I, that's just, I'm trying to say that as like um, a pep talk because what are you they're trying. trying. 
That was the main point that I wanted to make was that I lit and they're saying they saw it too. Mm -hmm. I literally saw it happen. Mm -hmm. You are not doing that girl any favors. Nope. You're not doing it. It's one thing. They don't, they don't care about her. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. Joss just left a comment that said, how long till they turn on her? They won't turn on her. They'll just ghost her. Well, they'll ghost her when they'll she's. They'll call in a favor. And if she doesn't do it, Sam well, will turn on but, her. But the thing is, is when she's at her lowest, whenever that is, they won't be around. They won't be around then. Mm -mm. So. Anyways, I, you. I wanted to make that point and then leave it at this. Sam, you're a fucking psycho. Yeah. And it, <laughs> you it, are legit like one, one step away from like restraining order. But you know why I wouldn't even bother to try? You would get so excited. <laughs> I know. You would get so worked up that I spent the time to, to go like try to like get something filed on you. And you're not worth it. it it's... Once again, let me um, shamelessly <laughs> plug. I'll shamelessly plug the vlog that's over on Tomahawk Sean's channel right now. It was released about 17 minutes ago. And oh, wow. um, I talk about going to court. I talk about why I haven't done something wow. like, a, you know, like an order or tried anything. I, the bottom line is I'm not invested enough in it because I don't pay attention to it. So I'm going to get the glasses. It's going to be a long way over there. Where are you going to go get the glasses? Yeah. It's worth it. No, but... It's worth it. Yeah. Did y'all um, see me on Rumble and DC Media Girls? How many people have Rumble and how many people... If you don't and you didn't know and you didn't look at Twitter, I was on with DC Media Girl on her oh. Rumble channel Saturday night, right? Not... That was last night. Last night? Saturday night. Yeah. There, yeah. There, it was a fun time. It was. You're gonna tell them all the secrets from your vlog. Well, it's okay. Because you talked about. It's kind of like it. It's kind of like you don't have to go see the movie because all the good parts are in the trailer. Exactly. You want them to be. You want the element of surprise. Um, let me ask this. Karen said, right. "I always miss the first part of what you say." Do we like start talking before it's actually live, so that when y'all do see it, click on live. It's like. Um, <laughs> Did you hear what Josh said? I can't eat ever eat eggs and cracked an egg today. And there was a dead, smelly, rotten. Did you get it from the store? You didn't get it from the store, did you? No, you must have got it for some from some friends or something. Oh my gosh, sucks, Jocelyn! Man. I am so sorry. From, from the store. From the store. Wow. Oh my gosh, that is traumatic. I don't like. No, no, from a market basket. So you need to. Uh, that is. Tell them. They said, "Look, if you're." If your chickens are over there getting freaky, you need to take those mm -hmm. eggs out right away. So if we don't check our eggs after about, and we get, we get them every day. We get about three a day. But if we go a day or two, um, and I don't know, I'll, I'll put a little check mark, like a little so we don't take pen out. mark on there, and I'll just leave them in there. And then... It's, um, I'm going to be... I had that happen, Jocelyn, one time because we were trying to figure out how, like, or which eggs were like how many days, or, and it was only a few eggs. And one of them that I opened was like that. And it was, it was traumatic. Um, Sean has, has done it um, like before, like if some don't hatch, he'll do it just to make sure that um, like that they're not about to hatch or something. Mm -hmm. And usually they're not because it'll be like 25 days. Mm -hmm. So they're not going to hatch. Right. Um, but I feel you. I can't do it. it, it. I can't do it. That, Yeah. And it, it's hard to tell, like... Hey, if, Presley. Hey, Presley. If we leave the eggs out there, it, and it's kind of like... you got to mark it on a calendar, too, because you'll forget. And, like, when she went in the hospital and that one little egg hatched, the rest of the eggs that were left, we took, you know, to where that chicken was going to be. And they said the other egg, eggs hatched, mm -hmm. too, so... Yeah, it was... There's I, chickens I everywhere. I feel for you. Tiny is a dad many times over. And then she said that it was smelly, too. Anyway, I won't... I won't... Make, talk about McConaughey, but smelly. I feel for her. You know what I mean? That's that they need to be more careful about that. But the thing and is, and I is, think the USDA, not the USDA necessarily, but certainly whoever you have to have those some eggs, sort of basic. Yeah, license. but those eggs had to have come from somewhere other than. And they didn't grab them in time. Well, no, but because most of the eggs that you get at the store are those. Hey, Colleen. Are are 
chicken eggs that don't have a rooster. They're just like yeah. But she said it was like a market. No, I get it. I get it. They so there was people that and it could have been that they were they took it and it just because the weather is warm enough. I think it's just they missed track of it and they they grabbed eggs and there was another egg in there and they didn't know. Wow. Well, I'm sorry. Um, like a stop and shop. Oh wow! Then wow. they're definitely breaking some USDA kind of stuff. Did it smell like chicken? Sean, just kidding. <laughs> it was tremendous. I I understand. Don't listen to his crude. <laughs> It'll be all over. They'll say Sean likes dead chickens. Or yeah. Something. Sean's like um, playing. He's like making their friend Josh go crazy. Listen to him. He's such an asshole. So we're now like that. We've gotten close enough. We go um, Wednesday to fly, like, was it Spirit or Frontier? <laughs> so we may or may not get there that day. Mm -hmm. No, we will. That's what you used to take when well, you came to see me. We got a really good deal because they need me to ride shotgun. He's going to ride on the plane. I have to make sure that the pilot stays awake. But no, but for real, like, um, you have, this is the kind of thing where you literally, um, like, have to, to check your bag. Pay for it. Mm -hmm. um, that's just how it is. Even if you like take a suitcase that will fit in their carry-on thing. We're real excited. Very Josh excited. Says we're, we're, are we, we're real excited. This is a long weekend for us, though. Um, we'll sleep well. I never, Sean knows this. I'm one of those people that like, I know something's coming, but then I'll like kind of, the, I'll know the date, but I won't really know like what we're talking about time-wise. And today I like looked at the thing and I was like, it's the 23rd. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's three days. Yeah. So now you know why we weren't streaming in there because there was yard sale yeah. items from one end of this house to the other. And Mandy, I, and I was thinking this, but I didn't, because I thought you knew. I'm like. It, it will be great, Colleen. She said, you know, I was like, wow, that's a lot to clean up before we go. Yeah, and I'm not. she's like, she's not going to do mm -mm. that. I know I would. Karen can understand this. I would normally stay up until I got it done and. Like right now, you know the outside of your foot. Have you yours has hurt before? Yeah, I literally, know it feels like like this outside part of your foot is broken, like literally fractured. It's, and it's like a not. shin splint or something. But I know what it is. But I just don't like to see Mandy hobbling around. She's literally hobbling around. I like to take credit for that because yesterday was well that the freaking in the neck possibly. But it, it it wasn't all that. She hurt her foot. It wasn't all that. You know, I mean, no, I said it wasn't that. <laughs> it sorry. wasn't from getting freaky. Remember Ford Fairlane? You, you guys remember that movie where he's checking his messages and she says, hey, it's Elaine. I'm walking again. Give me a call. Mm -mm. That was his, that was the, the phone message. He was like. Oh, my God. Um, Jocelyn, I will send this thing to you. I sent it to Karen and Loretta and I might, I need to send it to Paula too. So. I think it's hilarious. I was laughing so hard I was crying. Mm. But when I was going, I went to donate just the rest of the stuff to Goodwill. Um, like, and I was going to get Tylenol. Like, I wanted fun. the melt away Tylenols. Hey, April. So I left from getting, I got like the iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts or whatever. And then I went. And so I was waiting to cross in the car, like this street, and they come both directions, but it's, you find your perfect time and you can go. If everybody, like if someone's waiting to turn left and they want no cars in our county, then it jacks everything up. Like right. people need to go and yeah. then everybody, and I needed to go straight across to CVS to get Tylenol. And so I guess at some, I had, the tech, Sean's text thread was open and the microphone was pushed because I do talk to text. They're legendary. My typos are legendary. Ask Karen. Her, her talk to text is legendary. <laughs> yeah, that's what I... So I go to CVS and then I come out to send him a text and say, you know, is there anything else? Because he was like, look, we haven't been going to the store because we're going to be gone in a few mm -hmm. days. Like, we don't want to have a bunch of, like, stuff that'll go bad. So, but when I went to send it to him, there was a whole bunch of stuff typed out, like, already. And it had been from when I was trying to cross this two-way street. And what did it say? I can't even say what it said. I mean, it's, it's, it's right there. It's, <laughs> this is what it said. We'll lose our yeah. monetization, but that's okay. It said, Very good. No, let me say, very good. I want to go across the street. Hurry up and turn, God damn it. These motherfuckers better re be open because of some can't stand. <laughs> I don't even know. It's but crazy. then I thought if CVS closed early, like that was part of it. I'm like, these motherfuckers. <laughs> and so I because guess I talked to myself. Oh, Hope, 
thank you. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you so much. Yay. We appreciate from, that from one veteran's family to another. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Um, but yeah, it was so funny. And when I realized that I must really talk out loud to myself a lot, I was laughing. You weren't even thinking it was as funny as I did. Well, but I I'm could, reading it. So I I'm, couldn't I'm even all way, breathe. I'm all the <laughs> way back at this house. Um, I was like, go ahead and before, turn. Before we, before we continue with that, Hope, thank you. Yeah. Um, they, you know, whenever they start making fun of our service, you know, my service, you know, as a veteran, as a veteran's family, um, we come together when that happens. So I, I appreciate you. We do. You can come for anything else, yep. but that's solid. Um. But yeah, so I'm sitting there on the bed. Love you too, Hope. I'm sitting there on the bed and they're, they're bloop, bloop, and so, you know, I get a little, my heart goes pitter patter mm -hmm. when she texts me. And so I look at it and I'm like, blah, blah, blah. oh. And at first I think <laughs> she's just mad, you know, venting to me. And at first I think maybe, right? I, I don't know what's going on. But then I then I start to figure it out. I'm like, oh, she's she's. My favorite is like, go ahead and turn, God, because I don't, I try not to use GD like out loud a lot. But apparently, when I'm by myself, I do. And then I said, the very good part was the funniest. Then I was like, these motherfuckers better be open. <laughs> and the thing was, it, it, like, so when I'm with Mandy, I talk with my hands. Yeah. So I'll be like, blah blah blah, and, and Mandy's I'm like, stop. But she and, and she has a point. Because He'll be like, I, I don't understand if you're doing like. And I'm doing this, and she's like, somebody's gonna think you're talking to them. Like, have you ever been like sitting in your car and you kind of look over and someone's just being real, real animated with their hands, and you're like, the f what? But like, you if know? you're talking about but like someone not. over, and you're like, and then I tell them to do it, and like, and I was like, because what's gonna happen is not just because someone's gonna think that you're doing that. They're gonna come out of their car and be like, "What now, motherfucker?" And then you're gonna want to fight because they're ready to fight, and it's all over. But I think that I'd like to think that I'd go, "No, man, I, I'm, I'm no. not." But you know, depending she knows on what me they pretty said. well, or depending on what kind of mood I'm in. <laughs> yeah. I, okay, so the bottom line is, I know at 53 years old that fighting. Win, lose, or draw. I'm I'm out of the I'm out for a couple days. You know, I could totally whoop somebody's ass, right? But I'm still got to get a mouthful of mouthful of goodies, headache powder, or, or Advil, and I'm laying in the bed it's because he got a, a frozen water bottle thrown at him. Um, I did. <laughs> at the, it's on the Kia, and it really wasn't his. He didn't really do anything. It was a guy trying to be macho and impress his right. girlfriend. So. I, I did pull in front of him on this. Is this a, what, one of the, not the same intersection, but one that was up from, same deal. I was driving in the Kia, and I guess they're coming pretty fast mm. on down 400, and it's kind of like a rise where you don't see them. And I pulled out, and I didn't look, you know, I just so pulled out. So they had out. to move over. So they had to pull over into the fast lane. So that first red light, this is it's a chick <laughs> driving, right? And her, her dude is, you know, just sitting there, and she's, and I'm in the slow lane at the, or in the left lane, and she's going off on me, and I kind of look over, and, I, you know, both windows are up. What did she say? She, oh, I, I don't remember. Like, they were, I think they, they were. pissed off because I, I, she says I cut her off. In hindsight, I might have. I might have done Probably. that. Probably. But she's going, and you know when, <laughs> the other thing is, is people that aren't used to, like, like, we'll be on YouTube or whatever, and we'll get sarcastic with, with each other and this and that. So I'm pretty, pretty witty. Mm -hmm. And she's just yelling and just, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm pointing over and the dude's just staring straight ahead. So I just go, hey, shut the fuck up. Just like that, you know, because I knew the dude, you know, mm -hmm. I'm a dude. And I knew that if I tell, if I said that, he was going to have to. Yeah, you know, there was involved. a method to the madness. I was like, shut the fuck up. Because he didn't want to yell at her. You he wanted sound that. like a, you silly, stupid bitch. And I just, you know, Did said you really something, say something, that? something like that. I said, just just drive away. And y'all can clip that and talk about and, it. And as the light turns green and they pull away, the dude has like a water bottle, but it's frozen water. And he just whips it, you know, he just whips it and it hits my door. It is a big ass den. And, and, and there's two of them. It went boom, boom, it hit twice. And, but you and know then what? they go. But and Sean immediately was like, and I realized that point that I realized he was defending I said, his. He was defending his woman um, to the point. He didn't know if there was a cop watching. He doesn't know if I'm strapped. But you said she was becoming a traffic hazard because she was. Yeah, yeah, because. She when, was about to hit him. Right. And when she pulled up in the fast lane, 
even before we were at the red light, she slowing? was slowing down to keep up with me. So I would put on the brakes and then speed up and put on the brakes and she would have to like to stay with me. So she was good, good and pissed off That's when we I got said, there. Sean will tell you how it is. He's not going to cut shit. You just let him go, let him go, let him go, you know, and they think they've made their point. And da 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 da. And you just go, shut the fuck but up. You know, and it's like. And, and he didn't, she wanted, you could tell. He, he wasn't even looking at me. He was just that, looking straight ahead. She was like, wanted him to, to. And he didn't say nothing. So it's kind of like. Your bitch is screaming across you to me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get you involved, homie. Yeah. Um, and so that's hey, why I called stitching. her a couple of names. And and then he he didn't look at me though. He kind of like you know still looking straight ahead. And then right as they pulled off, he just threw it like sideways, like and still didn't look at me. Yeah. And then never looked at me. And then the car hit my. And it actually hit the passenger door. It's the door that it hit. Didn't hit the front door. The my ex used to be not. Not quite like that, but he was always trying to like, he'd be yelling, not yelling, but kind of yelling or just whatever. And I was like, when that, when that guy pulls over and wants to fight, you I, will get out of this car I and you will fight. I want to see the same energy. I want to see right? the exact That's what same I said. energy. I go, when he calls you on it and he pulls mm -hmm. over and you pull over and he gets out, um, you're not, you're going to follow it through. And, and that kind of changed after that because I'm like, we're, I mean, like it's it's so easy for guys to talk shit in the car, but sooner or later someone's gonna pull over and be like, pull the fuck over. But then it's dangerous now because people have guns. Remember when um the dude when we were coming out of Walmart and the dude sent his like his wife and kids back in because he wanted to yell at you, mm -hmm. he, so, or he pulled behind you or something like that. He didn't know you were with me. What happened was he I was pulling out of a parking space. And I didn't even almost hit him. I think that... He wanted the space or something? I don't know, but he honked and got pissed off. And like, so, um, I can't even remember how... He, he, he but sent I know his it, wife and kids back in the store. But I know it got to the point where he followed me and followed me and followed me. Because oh, yeah. you were getting... It was actually we were getting a TV or something. You were getting someone to help you bring it out. And that's what you were still in for. We were still in... We were in Georgia. And then, yeah. Happened. And then I parked at the back of the parking lot. And he parked at the back in front of me. Like, and he had no idea that there was a dude with me. He had no right. idea. He thought it was just me. And I was but, like... But, jo but, but Josh has said that's Andrew. It mm -hmm. is. But he was like, made this big show like, baby... Take the kids back inside. I'm going to deal with this woman. You know? Right. It, it, and I was like, wait till he sees this. And so when you came out and I was like, that car right there has been trying to get me to whatever. And, and she made like, sure oh. that he saw, you know, she was talking to me and pointed to the car. Mm -hmm. And then guess what? <laughs> he went, he was gone. He, he, he was, and I, said, like, I said, okay. I said, come on, come on over here. Cause I and said, any minute like, now, Sean's going to come out <laughs> and he's going to realize he, because like, literally, I'm like, I'm a chick His by wife should have handled it, yeah. And that was the whole point. Like, if the wife would have yapped away and Mandy probably would have done everything, he literally sent them back into the, like, you said, mm -hmm. he, he sent them away. You don't want to see this. I'll handle this. And um, I almost kind of think he had already come to the car from the store. So he might have been backing up. I think he was backing up and he almost hit me and I was circling around the parking lot. And you probably went and like I this honked or something. At him. Oh, that's what it was. One yeah. honk at him and that it yeah. set him off. It was insane. It was insane. And I was like, that's an example where if that was me, I'd be like, I'm not going inside. Well, I'm gonna go inside because we've got a child, so I'm mm -hmm. gonna go inside. Mm -hmm. You are gonna fall, you are gonna go and finish whatever it is this guy wants to do. <laughs> But it was very clear, and, I, and I'm, you know, I'm tall. I'm, I'm, a t I'm hey, six foot flying. five. I'm six foot five and about two hundred and forty pounds. So, <laughs> I'm a, a big guy, but I'm not big like muscular. You're right, Jocelyn. But I'm, a t I'm, I'm tall though. I, I'm, you know, when I come walking up, you know, I'm, I'm tall. Those that have ever seen me on a live stream, like the full, like, like when we were at Negs that time, and with with Skeeter and AV and all that, and we were doing the, the karaoke thing. This was a few years ago. People in the chat were like, damn, he's tall. They didn't know I was that I tall. Didn't know, I didn't know that you were, I mean, I knew how tall you were, but I didn't understand how tall that was until I saw you. Six five. It. So. No, six four. I'm six five. Oh, he's six five. I mean, I, 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 I'm like most guys, I add an inch. Exactly, but, Colleen says, my husband's a tough guy. I love the backup, right? But But the thing is, is like, he didn't, it wasn't like, that wasn't the point. The point was he didn't think she was with anybody else. I, I mean, I could have been 5'10", and it still would have startled him. He was like... 
And the caveat like, to come that, on, dude, you Sean didn't, is, you know, and, and is super just, protective of me. So yeah. I was like, this is not going to go well. For I will you. go. I mean, I, I know better than to fight. You know, I'm just, I'm, not, like, I'm just too old not, to fight. It's not going to go well for you. But uh, I, I will, I will draw my last breath for Mandy for sure. Remember and, when the guy was picking up the trash from the apartment with that mm -hmm. light on his head, and you were pulling up, and you thought it was someone looking in the window? You go, "Well, we're gonna see if I can still find." <laughs> yeah, it's, and it the was dude like, had one of those lights on his head, and he, and he was just, I guess, working at night. No, he was getting the trash. They used to. Pick oh yeah, up yeah. He, so he had to come up the stairs to get our trash. We had a, it was like a valet trash service in Texas. And he had all, a light on his head. Yeah, and I was on the, and he came walking up the stairs, and I was like, <laughs> um. I guess <laughs> that's what I said. Yeah. I, said, I guess we're gonna see. You if were I like, can... you were like, my thought was, well, I guess we'll see if I. Can... I mean, some strange dude is charging up the <laughs> stairs. I guess. Uh, I know. I, guess. I had to chase the cat tonight, and mm. um, the door had flown open because it always flies open if you don't lock it. And Scout went out. And Scout's, you know, I have an indoor Scout, outdoor cat, but that yeah. cat's dumb, and he was trying to pick a fight with another cat. And Eleanor was sitting there going. Go on, just but like see, we're talking. But it was, and I'm I'm in the tub when this is going on, and 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 Mandy didn't say it, but you know, so my cat's out. I did and say it. I said, "You better hope my cat comes." My, back. You said, "You better hope that my cat ends up okay." Is what you said. <laughs> and so you I heard, get out of the tub. You heard that? Yeah. Because he he's the one that lets the door open. I left the back door open. Because if you don't shut it hard and lock it and mm -hmm. make sure it's locked, um, if you're going out of it, it's one thing because you're going to be out there. But if you don't, then when someone opens the front door, it'll. F and so, how open. many, how many of you have ever been in a hot bath, sitting there, sit, you know, and I'm just laying there like, oh, and and you know, it wasn't like I just got in the bath, but it was like I'm ratchet if ten I'm minutes <laughs> or so, so I was kind of good and relaxed in the bath, and then that bullshit happens, and she's like, and then when Mandy goes, my cat better be, I was, oh, and you got it, I'm like, all right, hold on, it's gonna take me about 39 seconds to put some clothes on But you on did, or you did a good job. You know, I so I like, get out and it's soaking wet, put on some sleeping pants and a shirt. And this dumb cat goes out this back door, runs the length of the house and is under our car with another cat. The front door was like 10 feet from him. I open the front door and I go, get in here. And he runs the length of the house past me come back and runs <laughs> back into the back door. That's how, 18 that's how months. special. That cat is. He is. He's, he's that's not, what I said. He can't I, be outside. I said he's trying to pick a fight with that cat because he has no idea. And it's not even a fight. I think he just was like, let's see, you know, whatever. But he's but Mandy loves this cat, right? She really does. And he's 0 for 2 going outside before today. Both times that he ever went outside in his life, he like hit his head. Seriously. He literally, he like literally hit off. his head and, and was all all fucked up for a while. So <laughs> Right, Colleen? That's what, this is the one we put to bed. This mm -hmm. is that one. The one that, that's, that's. The weird one that yeah. likes to, um, 18 he? months and Eleanor is yeah. probably four. No, Eleanor's three. We got Eleanor right when we moved here, so. They're probably about five months apart, the two of yeah. them. Yeah, so Ellie's about two and a half, yeah. And y'all remember Storm from, from like the boardroom and stuff. She's, what, four or five? Almost five, yeah. Because we've she been together four years. She would right next to the microphone, and they'd be like, ATX has a dildo going on. <laughs> but and I was she's... like, it's my cat. <laughs> <laughs> we, because we got, you had Storm when we got together, and you said that she was about 18 months old then. Mm -hmm. Or eight months. Was it eight or 18? So if that's the case, then that cat is five and a half. I can't remember. Someone probably, one of those hating ass bitches probably remembers mm -hmm. exactly when I got the cat. Can you let us know? It just depends on how old that cat was when we got together. And I think you said 18 months yeah, old. Yeah, they are babies still. Um, yeah. And I was worried Storm got out. Storm's fat ass was sleeping on the couch going, I didn't go anywhere. The hell am uh, I going to go? I know better. <laughs> Stitching says she has a 20 something year old cat. That's the thing. Aww. Cats will live forever if they're healthy and you, you pay the vet bills and stuff like that. Um, they'll live forever, forever. They don't, you know, it, unlike some Shih Tzus from North Carolina that get randomly euthanized. Yeah. But anyway. And I talked to a lady at PetSmart, our girl one time at PetSmart, that um, her Shih Tzu lived to be 20. Like, she was literally in college, and that they had gotten that dog before she was even born, and it was still alive. My, my parents' dog, Freya, they got that dog um, when Megan was born. Really? Same time, and Megan was graduates about eighteen when eighteen or nineteen oh, when cool. the dog died. But they got Freya as a puppy. Right. That Stitching's dog's name is Freya. Freya. Nope. My dad, my parents' golden retriever was a Freya. 
And then the other one was Tucker. I didn't realize that Tucker passed away shortly before we started dating. Just before. As a matter of fact, no I had idea. thought perhaps you had, I, I just, okay. I didn't remember. No, I. Tucker, Tucker was, um, a, a, he was a rescue dog. And if you hear my dad tell it, and I've heard it about 15 times, um, he was a rescue from, he, Tucker used to be a therapy dog, but he, he was taken from the owner for inappropriate behavior. Oh. So I said, and I said something like, jokingly, like, what was he doing? Like porno with the dog or something, sick bastard. And he's, and my dad deadpan went something like that. Oh. So, um, so they got Tucker. Tucker was already about seven. Yeah. Or eight, and he lived to be about 13. It was a, from what I, I'm gonna send a text with a link to the video of a shanty community fighting, and it's just so embarrassing. I'd love to see that. So, Jocelyn's even found shanty now. Yeah, Josh, drop that link. Shanty is, um, you can drop it in here. Yeah. There's, you have, if, if it's a little cow, we, this is fair game. Stitching knows most of them. No, because the shanty's about, not boy, but still, stitching knows a lot of little cows that aren't. Yeah. So here's the thing about Tucker. Tucker, um, oh, he was now. a sweet dog, um, but he was super, um, he, if it was thundering out or raining, he freaked out. Yeah. If he heard guns, any, anything, any booming sound. So he, then he had the worst breath. So if it was thundering like this, he'd be wanting to be right up in the bed with you. He, he would, so there was a time my, my parents went, I don't know, I think went to Europe or something, it was something crazy. And I came home to watch Tucker and I think, I was, anyway, I, I, I was there and he. Thank I, you, Presley. I was sleeping upstairs. So in the upstairs pretty. part of it. And I was having a horrible dream. Like there was like this rotten flesh and demons and stuff chasing me. Oh my God. And I woke up and Tucker was on the bed staring at me going. <sighs> so that worked its way into your dream. <sighs> His breath was awful. Yeah. He had the worst breath. Thank you. Anyway. There you go, Jocelyn. Yeah. Um, he would like another dog, but. The puppy years are hard. No, I think, you know, why mom doesn't want him to get, have a dog is that he's 80. He'll be 83 here yeah. in a couple months. And my mother just wouldn't want to take care of the dog. Yeah. Um, oh, thank you, Montana. Thank you. Hey. Thank you thank so you much. Thank you a lot. I see it. Montana, not Moxie. Not the same Hey, person. and we see her real name. We won't dox it, but it's definitely not... It's definitely not that. Thank you. Really, that's awesome. It is. Um, I even advertised that we took Cash App and Venmo at the yard sale. Um, well, that, I thought that, that was, was a, novel. That was a Cash App yeah. right there, that one It was, was yep. The, um, I thanks, talked to thanks, a guy. Thanks a yeah, lot. Yeah, a lot. That means Thank a lot. Thank you. It, we went, there was um, someone who stopped by this morning, and we talked to him for a while, and he just moved here it was the opposite he had he was from texas and she was from georgia and they've moved here to georgia or whatever and we were talking to him and um <laughs> it it's good it's just it's like like it just Montana. depends on what however you want to do it but she, she, she won't do super chat anymore and, and is it because of the percentage i mean that's why most no, people I, it might be because they accuse her of being moxie oh you know what i mean um but I don't know, or it's the percentage or whatever. Either way, thank you. He was saying that he's going to get chickens and stuff like that. So yeah, he was, was looking at our chickens and stuff. And um, the when he was talking, I was like, did you meet online? And he was like, yeah, we met it on Tinder. And I was, he goes, I know it's weird. I was like, oh, no. Oh, Montana, Not hold on. <laughs> Montana said I felt bad. No, you don't have to. It, it, it was amazing. You're, it, it's amazing when... I mean, the Super Chats, um, especially the one night after the live stream, it was the next night, I think we... It's a good way and, and of it, showing... It, it was many levels of awesomeness, um, whether it was giving us a shot in the arm because they all support us, whether it was to send the other side to the moon, whatever it was. Um, or just to see us to have a good time seeing yep. my son. I mean, it, it. there's reasons for the Super Chats, and, but I get it. I get it. You know, it, it, any support is good, is support. Yes. Um, it's a good troll, super chats. Yes. Stitching. Uh, yeah. That's, that could have been the short 
brevity of what I was trying to say. I mean, these the haters can send those two dollar super chats and say whatever they want because mm -hmm. then you block them, but you still mm -hmm. get their money or whatever. But that night was was really special because we got a lot of super chats ranging in in all different you know amounts, and it it it, it felt good. I mean, it was it was awesome to get that kind of support. Indeed. Indeed. But so I said, no, that's not anything. Um, Tinder is what it is. I was like, we met through YouTube. But they met on Tinder, right? Then you say it was a Tinder? That's what I said, yeah. Oh, yeah. I cut her off. I, the no. total flow of it, though. Tinder. And they're together. Which is like, you know. But mm -hmm. you could tell at first he was sheepish about it. I was like, no, 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 no. Hope said I sent my super chat out of love. Heck no, yeah, it's man. good. No, don't. Yeah, I think, I, I think it was. I think it came out wrong. That for what I was trying to say, you know. Um, they know you. Yeah. That you would never like. I'll be the one that said something shitty. No, but the, the that night. I don't know. I don't every know. every super chat that came across. Every well, there one were people of them, adding it up. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. The people on the other platforms added it all up. That's so and, weird. Um, very very. It weird. It also proves that they they don't know how to add because they got it wrong. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Well, the one that got it wrong, that's not a surprise. That's true. And then he said, well, and I said, no, not just YouTube. I said, although we knew each other before. I was like, he was on Dr. Phil. And he was like, he was like no way. And I was like, look it up right now. I was like, look up my internet addicted wife, truthfully, Trisha. And he gets yeah. it out. He, he added it to watch later. And I was like, the husband in there? That's my husband. <laughs> But the look on people's face when you say it. Yeah. Like when you're like, well, the ex was a lunatic and he, I mean, they'll be like, yeah, so, no, 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 like Dr. Phil lunatic, like yeah. like that kind of lunatic. Well, I, um, at work, they know, because you only have to tell like one or two people, like if you're just <laughs> right. hanging out and it usually starts with somebody is talking about a bad relationship or that they, and I was like, yeah, I get it. And they're like, no, this person was a was a complete psycho and I'm like, oh, I get it. Yes. And so it comes out, they say, well, this happened with, m with my person and then I go, well, I was on Dr. Phil. And they were like, and they're like, okay, wait, stop, stop. That's what I'm saying. Do tell. And it's then, a conversation ender yeah. right there. So then whenever anyone else is talking about their problems, they said, well, you can go over there and talk to Sean because. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will say that a lot of people who are like, yeah, I've watched it every once in a while. I don't watch it a lot. I'm like, it's the person that fell off, fell down when she walked off the stage. And lots of them be like, I did see that one. I was like, the one that was running between the hater and her, that that's him. That's him. That was me. <laughs> yep. And they were like, that's crazy. And I'm like, but to be fair, I'd already heard of him before. But, but Mandy had to tell everybody at her work because at her work, they we used would, to watch her. They have Dr. Phil mm -hmm. up on the thing or whatever. And so when Mandy's like, okay, guys, I'm getting a divorce. And they're and like, okay, they're like, no okay, biggie. No biggie. And then they were like, and I'm seeing somebody. And it's serious. It's serious. And, you know, so. Well, I said he's a retired captain. He's a retired captain. And she worked for the Texas National Guard. So. So they were like. As long as he's not here. That's what that couple of the people were like. You can't be like, it's a social faux pas. I mean, it's a professional faux pas. To date somebody like that, you know. Yeah. Even though everybody does. Yeah. And they were like, no, it's he's a retired captain, and he was the guy on Dr. Phil. And that had to get a couple and people the, go, the oh, other, my God. The one person knew you by name. Because when we right. would watch, he would be like, dude, she reminds me of my first wife. Like, mm -hmm. you know, shit like that. And I, when I told him, she was like, oh, my God. <laughs> and it's like, you're a lie. And I was like, I'm, I'm not. That. And, you know. He, she, she said, I, I don't know where we're going to go with this, but he's coming to Austin. We're going to shack up. It's like, I'm using and, my vacation. Uh, I'm using my vacation days. And probably going to call out on the last day. Because <laughs> you, I, I was supposed to go back to work, and you were going to mm. have a full day. Um, I was supposed to go back to work, and you didn't fly out. Oh, no, the day you flew out. But then you were, you, and when I left, it was still up in the air. You were going to go to work, and you ended up not, remember? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that we've already told you that, but I was like, wanted to say, just don't leave. We'll figure it out. Don't leave. And he's like, if you had said you that, I that. wouldn't have. 
You know, so we we they know I, about I had no crying idea. Thing. I have no idea that she's feeling like I'm she's hiding. We don't Thank I mean you. we know each other much better now. We wouldn't you we can't hide it from each other, that type of emotion anymore. It's like right. I know when you're upset and she knows when I'm upset. But when we went our separate ways, we were both falling Look apart. Look at that picture. We were both falling apart inside. Look I'm gonna show oh, I'm gonna show you the picture. Yeah, I have a picture. He looks he looks I like he's been it. in a hotel for four days. Yeah. I'm the a, picture of us we'll kissing show you. or the one No, the the one right before you left. Okay. You remember that one? I do remember okay. that one. And I have an iPhone. We so both have that our clothes can... on. Don't don't worry. I thought you wanted me to show them the one of the the one you sent me where you'd been crying. Well, you can show them that, but I mean the one where you, like, you had like it was so cool. You all ha you had like you had a pretty fit grow out. You had shaved before you came, but then you didn't shave while you were here. We looked tired, and I had been crying. That's the one I'm talking about. Why were we so tired though? I don't know, because we were playing words with friends. That's right. Words with friends. I'm back to 2019. You won't find any pictures of me and Mandy ATX together before June 1st wait, wait, of 2019. Wait, wait, is that it? No, it, this is, that's the I second time. I thought you time. put it in a file. I, I, not that one. It's going to be, I, I'm coming, I'm coming to up to He's it. He's going to find it, maybe. I don't Here think we've ever showed that one. What about that one? No, don't show that one. In fact, don't mm -hmm. even like. <laughs> don't even put it close to the. No. It was um, this that one. one. Yes. This like, was. Yeah, don't wait. I got it. I got it. Don't worry. Hold your hand over the bottom because if you that whole you can't, it'll that took everything thing. off. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna be pissed if it. That was us the first time. The first that time that when we were leaving. Yep. Do we look tired and <laughs> ff? <laughs> I was like, if that scroll comes up at the bottom with like a whole series of pictures, so that was what we were looking at when we said. Um, but I don't think I cried until you left. What about that one? Oh my God. That wasn't even a dirty one. That was just a. Y'all want to see what I looked like in the army when I was like. Cause she doxed it and you're like, oh, I'll take that. It's like. This is I what he looked like. I think in this one I was like 25 years old. You were still old. enlisted, right? Yep. That's what I looked like. That was at 25. She posted a bunch of pictures of him on Twitter and he was like, I'll take that. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's a good picture. You were, you were, that was before he became an officer. So this, is, then I have a series of pictures with, that was the day when you showed me a bunch of pictures and I was like, well, two can play that game. And I said that one, remember? <laughs> yeah, I do remember that. When you, did y'all, okay. Do y'all remember when he did the vlog where he said that he, um, about he cammed up with his girlfriend or whatever and trying to like drop hints and he was wearing the hat that said Austin on it. Do y'all remember that? that I was think our first I did kiss, too. I think <laughs> I that was. I think he got um more distinguished. He was still cute, but he was just I think I like older dudes anyway. Um and which was fabulous for me. Um let me see if I can find that one for it's in files. I right. ooh, I remember that one too. Sean. Okay, hold on. I don't even know what he's looking at. I'm looking. This is okay. So don't don't that, let them. What's no, that? That oh that was oh show that. I want you to show. Okay, so we went our separate ways. They know all that. And this is the picture she sent me after we left. This is how upset she Not was. Not the vlog, but the. This is the picture that she sent me. Isn't that awful? Look at how she's been crying, guys. And do you know who I talked to? Telfer. And Sam, yep, that's she right. She comforted me for about an hour. And it's whatever, but she did. She, that was, I was so upset. Like, it was crazy how upset I was. And at, by that time, we knew that we were going to be together. It was just, um, yeah, she, well, and it was coming out. I know, thank you. When they're, when I cry, that's the only good thing is they turn even more, Blue. I had been sobbing. Um, and when I dropped him off at the airport and I went home, it's on a toll road. And I wasn't really, you know, I was just distracted. And Hope says, I think you look better now, Sean. Thank you. I was, they, they, I got a speeding ticket, the first one that I had in years. And it was something, it was crazy the amount, like the, how fast it was, but it was because I was distracted. And toll roads, I mean, if the speed limit on the toll road is like 75, 
I mean, really, like, that's pretty shitty if you get caught for speeding. Like, 75 is probably fast enough. Yeah. Some parts on the toll roads, it's 80. Do you want But I'm telling way? you, I'm telling you, if I, I'll get it. I'll get it. If oh. I had known half, a tenth of what I know about her now, um, I, I first I'd have been able to read it all over her face, and I wouldn't have left. That's that's. And I like, wouldn't have left, it, and, and it would have made things exponentially more complicated. Right. Though. It would have. I mean, I mean things I, happen for a reason. I guess he could stay in our guest bedroom. It would have been weird. <laughs> I'd be like, look, you might be able to unplug it now. Carlos is here. I had been sobbing. Carlos. And at that point, he was already making plans for how he was going to move to Texas. It was just the. Well, um, I was making plans then about my next visit. That was the immediate thing. Cause you said, is there, and I he's you said, is there anything that I can do? And I said, just come back. And you were like, I will. And he came back ten days later. Was it ten days later? That's exactly what you said. Just come back, didn't mm -hmm. you? I did. I said, Oof. just come back. And he was like, okay. It'll make me cry again. <laughs> and I got back. Yeah. And the next time was the Motel 6 that everyone loves to talk about. <laughs> but let me tell you something. That Motel 6 will never be the same mm -mm. <laughs> in the room that we are in. And that week or so, it was like 10 days or whatever, there was a drug bus. There was a- All kinds of stuff. All kinds of crazy stuff. And we were right in the middle of it, like holding our holding our drinks going, our non-alcoholic beverage going, well, this is a new neighborhood. I know. I was like, then he, when he came back, like then we stayed at the extended stay and that's where we did the interview with Katie. That's when we, that's when we stay. pulled off. That was our Shani and Rev era yeah. when we were living in an extended stay. Have you guys ever, anyone in there, don't be, don't be ashamed had to live in an extended stay. It is its own neighborhood. It is. The first two or three days you're there, no one really talks to you, but after a while, everyone that's been there for a while kind of, we're like neighbors. And they would basically do like mm -hmm. drug deals in the lobby and yep. they figured out we don't give a shit. We don't give we're a shit. We're just doing our own thing. We're just in there. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> right? Gonna, she doesn't like, she, doesn't she like watches you. me very, very closely. Um, wow, look at him drinking the wine. I, I have questions. I, guess I, got, I got told earlier that she was saying, Trisha, if they take your channel, I've got one already made for you. And I was like, and then I guess, like, I'm like, well, can you clip that for me so I can have it if she's going to ban evade? And I was like, <laughs> please don't make me look at it. Please. And they're like, I go, I don't want to hear that voice. <laughs> and so, um, but what I know about, she don't have no channel made for her. Mm -mm. The, um, if, Tr if Trisha loses her channel, their ghost. She'll, she'll be like, because here's the deal. Um, she doesn't have like anybody's phone number. I don't think she, I mean, she I don't does. know that for her, but you know I'm what I'm sure. saying? She just doesn't have the, she wouldn't, she wouldn't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, I don't think that she would have any idea. Like there's no, I'm sure there's no backup channel. Is that one have stuff in it? No, it's empty. You drank both of them? No, that one's full. Oh, okay. And then so when. Don't, don't be monitoring my aloe water So when intake. he, when he went to. Then he went back to Cincinnati and got his stuff and then mm -hmm. drove it back. But when he drove it back, mm -hmm. we had tried to time it just perfect. Did I so drive? That, I didn't drive the second time. Well, you I drove went the to get third your time. stuff. Yeah, no, no, yeah, but yeah. listen, from the extended stay, when then I went to visit you again. Right, 4th of July. No, that was the first time. And then your parents were out of town and I came and visited. That was like the next weekend almost. It was like the 9th and 10th of July, I remember. Yeah, and then, um, anyways, so the problem th th is, this is what, so at some point from the extended stay, you went to Cincinnati to get your stuff, mm -hmm. and then you came back. Um, but I never drove from, I, I never drove from Austin to Cincinnati. It was always Austin to Atlanta and then up. I never drove, the only time I drove from, I drove from Cincinnati to Austin the final time. So when you drove, when you left, the extended stay. Mm -hmm. You had to go to Cincinnati because nope. you had to get your stuff. I had to drive. I was watching watching the house for my parents. So I that's that's when I that's yeah, that's when I got the tires in Mississippi. Okay, but listen. Okay, hold on. Okay, you drove mm -hmm. when you said do you need me to come? Because I was having a hard time. Mm -hmm. You came drove that was from that was from Atlanta through. though, and I was in the extended stay. Right when and I that's left, where you, oh, hold on, hold right. on, that's where you drove to, mm -hmm. and then I stayed there while I still worked. Right when you left there, you drove 
to Cincinnati nope. to get your stuff. And then you then you came back I and drove. it was supposed to be to the apartment, listen, but the listen, apartment wasn't ready, so right. we went back to the ho the motel six. I drove I was gonna drive Not straight right. to Cincinnati. I drove to Georgia, then up to Cincinnati, and then to Texas. That's how I did it. But it wasn't because your parents were out of town. There was I some came to reason visit I needed your parents No, I, I, there was some reason that I was going there that they needed me there or something like that. Well, I but don't I remember know about because that. Um, when I was about, I stopped in Vicksburg, Mississippi, because that's about halfway. Because I, I drove it all the way through once, and I won't do it again. That was a thousand miles. It was like sixteen hours. So Vicksburg is halfway to Atlanta, and I when I pulled into my hotel, I had a flat. So I put some fix a flat. Did it work? Yep, I put some fix a flat in it, and bedded down for the night, thinking, well, I'm not going to drive on a fix a flat tire. But, so I went and checked all the tires, and that's I when I know. noticed the front tires had wire coming out of them. So I had to get four tires in, in Vicksburg, Mississippi. He did. He got, I was like, do they have the tires in? Are you going to be able, do you have to stay there? And he's like, no, they have them. They have them. Um, Presley, is, how does she get away with dating the site? She talks to the BS of these men, and she does. they don't know she's live. She thinks it's funny. Why does YouTube, it's not funny. She's not funny. I. It's her It's her thing. It's her shtick. It's her shtick. Um, the same, same, same. I think it's sad because these guys may be who these guys are, but they are paying. Like, they're paying yeah, for, to, for to the, hook up with. Like, the guys have to pay, but to the talk girls dirty. don't. That, yeah, you know, it's mainly you, guys that just want to do phone sex. They don't. So, so girls can sign up for it. They don't. Girls they are don't, free. But, they, yeah, they don't make anything off of it. So, the, the business makes the money. The guys pay it, and the girls just get the chat. Exactly. So when when you that ain't right. when, that's when you keep them when you're not interested in you keep them and you're talking dirty to them even if it's stuff that you think is funny they're paying for that time wow and they don't know that they're live so uh, it, it's whatever I don't think it's funny either but I don't think the company would appreciate it either. she's been blocked before Boho turned her in I don't know how many yeah. times she used to get blocked from the the line all the time because Boho would call. And then she would start calling another one, and Boho would call them. Wow. Paula, are you still here? Paula, Paula knows that. <laughs> oh, the, um, Jocelyn's like, look, what the hell is this? And it was the, the, uh, who is it that she does when she does the old one chest? At, who is that Oh, character? Granny, the Granny one? Our... Helda or something. I don't know, but Paul, but Jocelyn had never known anything like about that. You thought that was hilarious though, right? <laughs> I wouldn't even, for, to, we were between doing the yard sale or whatever. I always get a chance to, there. She said, Paula said, yes. Seabreeze also said it was bullshit, but yeah, Paula's confirming y'all just don't. And it's fine that, that they want to blame it on whatever. That's why these real life calls have stopped. And because her, address no. isn't floating mm -hmm. around everywhere and nobody's tried to find it because boho's now doing is on her side yep she was happy to do that stuff and you know the only other one that really did that was that billy nowhere guy he, he mm -hmm. or at least he would say that he was doing it they yeah it was like crazy it was like um and that's why i'm like it's whatever but don't act like you didn't do it because you did because you did um but anyway that people, gets, we're getting more people in the oh <laughs> Oh, so there, oh, oh, more people. Says but, um, I am confirmed. Yep, she's, more people were amused with Sean dressed in drag. That, you know, that's still like, we, it's not like a sore subject, but I've no. never really asked you, did you like doing it? No, I'm a very different person now, put it that way. I mean, I didn't. You just didn't care? I didn't really care. I, I You know, and I was trying to kind of, I mean, we weren't even, very good friends at that point. Yeah. You know, we, uh, you know, I, I had a contract and that. He looked like Wild Bill from Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he did. I know, I, when did I, yeah, that wasn't. And the reason she's not acknowledging Angela is because she knows Angela's the one that messaged Clint. So mm -hmm. she's like, I'm going to entertain all these people right. and tell them we're friends or whatever. But that one pisses her off bad that she contacted Clint. I'm like, and, and... And she's friends with these people, right? Or they're friendly with them. Yeah, and he yeah, responded that everything this bitch was saying was... A, not Angela, yeah. the other bitch. It was all a lie. It was all a lie. 
that everything from why they rehomed Charlie to the reasons for this and that. And, and, and I was and, like, and, and the thing about it is, is when the people that didn't like us were blaming yeah. you for all that. It's, it's, it's ATX that's doing it. It's ATX this, ATX yes. that. And really it was all, it's all the people that you're not friends with anymore that were, did mm -hmm. the majority of it. And like the nerve of, of her to get pissed off that I did a video of throwing her sign away. Are you kidding me? Oh, we're talking about Angela now. Well, that's, it got mentioned. I think, are you kidding me right now? You're shocked that, that, that bullshit, funny thing that, that <laughs> I, only you girl, yeah. only you. I mean, I, I get amused at how upset some people get it. it <laughs> that Jocelyn's talking about her math. How bad it is. Her math. Like she tried to say she matched us in Super Chats. And Jocelyn's like, it was $20. Yeah. Over like 15 hours. I mean, like minute for minute. We we got... Y'all uh, showered us in about an hour and 20 minute live stream. It was, well, my you guys are amazing. Her, I think what really pissed her off, and this was kind of petty, but I love it. Hey, Kay. Was I took her, her sign down off the chicken coop and threw it away and put the one Paula sent up. What's and, that? and said thank you, Paula. <laughs> I was like, I took it down. I was like, and then I put because I liked that one better anyway. Hey, yoga pants. Everybody's coming in. <clears throat> they're like they heard that we're talking about. No, they all watched my vlog, and now they're coming over. You think? Did y'all all watch my vlog first? Or are you gonna watch it after? I'm shameless. Watch my vlog. You are shameless. I need people to watch it. <laughs> That's you know what he had for. For dinner so i can confirm he does eat this and i could give a shit less i think it's hilarious he had eggs you know our fresh eggs from and our sausage chickens. gravy you not the, just any sausage you know gravy. the sausage kind of gravy that's in the can that you can buy at the supermarket i love that shit he does he likes it and i'm never here by myself you know so that can's been sitting up there for a few months yeah mandy's like gross and i'm like put it in the cart so i knew the only time opportunity <laughs> i would get to eat yes. it yes she stepped out for an hour to go to CVS and stuff like that. And I'm like, I can eat my sausage, gravy, and eggs now. And, and I did. But he's never not been able to. I know, but this was this was you, the time to do it. Though. For as much as she says that's what you eat, like my son eats it too. But you, you've never like, we got it and it's whatever, but you've never said I'm craving sausage No, no, gravy. I don't crave it, but I, if I see it, and that can of that sausage gravy is like 85 cents. Even it, now. Does it taste like real gravy? It's it's supposed to be so it, it it's anybody that's been in the military. Thank you, this is why me. this is why your son likes it. This is is that um, it's a it's a staple of military like is that mess halls, and it's like they call it shit on a shingle, and it's just like the white gravy and the sausage mixed, and a lot of people just get a piece of toast and just put it right over the toast and eat it that way. Wow. But I mean, Tim, uh, he hasn't been. In, in as long as me, and and he hasn't, you know, hasn't been in it as long as me. But he's done some of the same things that I have, like the schools you know what, and the environment. Right. You know what's funny? I don't even know if I've ever told you this. So when I went to see him, there we went twice. Um, me and his dad, twice. One was when he pinned his blue cord. Um, the French forge or something. Whatever. No, no. Well, that's, yeah. The blue cord. The French forge is the third ID one. Right. The the cord infantry has a cord that they wear. So once they finish their their infantry school, right, or at a certain point, they get to put it on infantry AIT. Yeah. And then we then the other time we went to his the whole graduation when he was in and everything, and it's as a matter of fact we were talking about Luna Moon the other day. Mm -hmm. She she uploaded it to her Twitter. It's still there. Because people, it's got a bunch of views. So anyways, um, he, they get a, a pass for about 12 hours to go hang out with their Listen family. Listen to this, man. And, but this is the part you, I don't think that he slept or whatever. And I said. That was normal. Yeah. And, and I sent a picture of Tanner passed out. And guess what? In the bed, he was exhausted. I sent it to him. The other, the other one knew. There was no my my ex knew. There was no romance going yeah, on. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, but but it, this was before, and and I guess, and I'm just saying this. I'm not saying this to like make you know like your ex husband or whatever, because he was a veteran. He just wasn't a combat arms veteran. So <laughs> there's certain think? things about like they all loved your husbands. All love canned stuff. Go ahead. The the my what? A lot of these are like my husband likes canned stuff too. The the um 
when when I was friends with with Mandy, and she was like, "We're going to pick up Tanner. He's been at basic training in AIT." You asked me something like what, and I said you can expect him to want to eat and sleep, and that's what he wanted. He kept to saying do. he wasn't going to go to sleep. He laid down and he was out in no time. And, and you can't. He take said it he's personal. learned to sleep anywhere. You can't take it personal. Your mom and dad. Your 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 boy goes off to the army, and you haven't seen him in five months or whatever it is. You want to see him, and and all that you're going to want to do if you're the soldier is sleep and eat. And then sleep again and eat because it's the first freedom they've had. And they told they got a, a pass for this amount of time, and then they had to go back. And they told them they're like, "You better not take this uniform off if you if mm -hmm. you take this." And I took him a change of clothes because we were in a big hotel room. Mm -hmm. And I said, mm -hmm. "Here, get comfortable." He's like, "No." He they get him. He left the brown. The they brown get shirt him on. so like yeah. they mm -hmm. get him to where, and I'm like. Or they don't they're not gonna know and he's like no and then he had when when i said i go he goes you want to see my push-ups and i was like sure and he drops and he's doing them and i'm like that's amazing like mm -hmm. that like the shape that they get in mm -hmm. and um but that's anyway was push-ups <laughs> when i guess in the mess hall at the one thing that they when they would have biscuits or whatever yeah. thank you when they would have biscuits or whatever they would give them a little thing of sugar-free blackberry jam, right? Jonas Gravy. Yeah, and if they could sneak two for it, they would sneak two, right? But but they only could have this small, small amount. So he gets there and he's like, I want a jar of black of sugar-free blackberry jam. And I was like, I can't find the sugar-free because by that time while they were on mm -hmm. pass, they could have their phones back. He said, you can get the one with the sugar. He sat there and ate the whole jar of jam just because he had been waiting to get more than just mm -hmm. a little bit. And then my ex-husband said that sometimes when he was in basic, they would give you little lemon Oreo type cookies. They were generic. Mm -hmm. But they had two of them. They'd give you two and they had just a little bit of um, like a little filling, lemon like, filling. Yeah. And he said when he finished basic, he went and bought like a mega pack of them and ate the whole thing and got sick. Mm. It's something about like... you. I I remember when I went to, at that time, when I went to basic training, I was 19. Or 18, just turned 19. And I went in the wintertime. Mm -hmm. And up until that point in my life, it was clearly the toughest thing I'd ever done. Oh, I'm sure. And, and so I never wanted to quit. I never wanted to quit. But I just remember how I just missed certain things and certain foods mm -hmm. and, and, um, you know, they'd be smoking the crap out of you. This More at OCS, you know, because when I was at officer candidate school, they smoke you three or four times worse than the normal basic because basic training isn't geared for you to fail. It, it's, they're gonna, it's geared to tear you down and build you back up, but they don't want to kick people out of basic training. It's not like a special forces type thing where they only want right. to take a certain standard or ranger school. OCS is similar, kind of in the middle. It, it, it Thank you, Chris. When they first got us out there for the first 10 days, they were like, well, there's 130 of you guys here and we can only graduate 100. So we're going to, wow. you know, we're going to smoke the shit out of you until people quit. And it was, they quit easily. People quit easily. And, um, but I just remember how, you know, like you'd be in like the sit up position and it was the, that was in the heat of the summer at Fort Benning. And, mm -hmm. and they'd just be standing over you going, you can be eating a steak at Longhorn tonight if you want to quit. You you can, it's no big deal. Like you can see your family tonight. Yeah, um, if, if, if you're not cut out for this. So I'm telling you, I can tell that you want a cheeseburger or something like that. And, you know, there's a five guys right out there. You can be there. Hey, what's up, Andy? I mean, you can be at that five guys. It's it's three thirty. You can be eating that. You can be eating that hamburger by six. Of course, that wasn't true because they wouldn't let you do that if you quit. But I mean, it's it's you know. But you miss certain things. You know, they can say they could. Presley's doing the baseball, then it might be because there's a game on. But yes, if if they find out your interest that you love baseball, they'd be like, you could be watching a game. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because you're missing out on everything. When I was at officer school, it was and 1998. 1998 during oh. the summer. And that's when Mark McGuire and um, Sammy oh, very Sosa. very cool. Sorry, I'm pinning Andy's. Uh, yeah, there's a big big family party up 
up north this weekend that Mandy and I will be heading west. In your dream said the biggest thing I know my son wanted was to send him on deployment with Chick-fil-A sauce. Mm. Was a huge trading item. Yeah. Um, when when Tanner finally got into um, his unit and they go to the field, he figured out that if he took those monster beef jerkies, you know, the big ones. Yeah. He figured out that if he took two big boxes of them with him um, and then about you know, a week or two weeks into the, to the, they call it a field problem, but I've never figured out why mm. they call it that. Um, he could trade him for anything he wanted. But, but that's not basic trade. That's how when he's that's at his That's what I'm unit. saying. When he went to his unit yeah. and he would take it and he would keep it there. And he was like, people would trade all kinds, money, mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It is. I mean, if you had something, if you had cigarettes, there are people that didn't smoke and they would take like, three or four cartons of cigarettes because people would run out and they could get cough drops. They can get 20, 25 bucks a pack. That's, exa that's, that's yeah. exactly how it was or whatever. I was like, he's ingenious. He liked them too. And he happened to take a few the first time. Um, the very first Red Bull I ever drank was like 1990, whatever, um, early nineties, I think. And I was at the national training center in, in the Mojave desert out in California. And they had this little, they had a shop at out there and I didn't know what a Red Bull was. And it was this little can, the little cans, they only had the little eight ounce cans mm -hmm. back then. And it was, I don't know, three bucks or whatever, but I bought one and I remember drinking it as I was, and I had about a five or six minute walk to the motor pool to where we were getting our stuff to go out into the desert. And by the time I got there, I was like, <laughs> Hey, I can run. I, I, I mean, cause back in the early nineties, there wasn't a whole lot of, energy drinks like that there was no monsters yeah there wasn't like you're right about that it i turned came, right it was back in england around. when we were there and then it came here i turned to turn right back around and went to that little shop at and bought like the case Thank that you. they had it was like a 24 little can case and i gave them the whatever it was the 85 bucks for 24 cans or whatever. <laughs> and um it was a good feel problem i bet yeah yeah it was they used to drink in in england is where it originally came from they did it. They mixed it with vodka. It it was something about like they do they do it here too. But in England, that was a specific thing that you did with it. People didn't really drink it by itself. They literally would like mix it. Um, have a good night, Presley. Presley's had pretty serious pain tonight. I hope you have a good Keep night, trooping. Presley. I, hey, you know what, Presley? I, I got to say, um, Dansby Swanson. He's turning out to be pretty good for the Cubs. He is. It would be hard to like have your loyalty with one team and then they trade you and you got to Freddie Freeman's in. over there on the Dodgers. Dansby Swanson's on the Cubs. It sucks, man. Yeah, that's pretty. I mean, anyway. but that's what I'm saying. Wouldn't it be hard to change allegiances or they don't they don't look at it like that? It's a job. It some like Chipper Jones played for the Braves his entire career. He never went anywhere. Does but it, it's a money. It's about money, too. Does it does it pay the bills? It kind of does. <laughs> for y'all who don't know what that is i'll say it real quickly bro there was they were doing a i think it was planned but it was funny it there was a an interview a person that was doing the interview who pretended not to know who eminem was and maybe he didn't i don't know right right um and it was something he, like he's like so you do some rapping and he's so like, he's like yeah. yeah i'm a rapper and this is eminem and he's like but i mean it doesn't but what do you do and and, the, and he's like well i'm a rapper and he goes but i'm talking about what what do you do for a living? Like rapping, I'm a rapper. It doesn't pay the bills, and he and Eminem goes, it, it kind of does. He handled you know? it like <laughs> a pro. He goes, no, it it kind of does, and he goes, okay. Okay. So and, he's like, and then about five minutes in the interview, Eminem goes, you really don't know who I am, do I? Because <laughs> like, I would assume if you don't listen to rap music or whatever, you would never guess. But he was already a big time. It was like Stephen I think Colbert he, he or something like that. He did an like amazing that. job of pretending not yeah. to know who he was yeah. if it was planned. But yeah. it, that one I did like. Um, the other thing that came Good up night, recommended Presley. that you I listened to in the Crown Plaza was that song by Machine Gun Kelly. I didn't know who Machine Gun Kelly was. But that one. Raise the Flag? Yeah. But did you like it? It came up recommend. I remember it. Yeah, I liked it. But I hadn't seen it again until... I love that song. I'm wondering. I've been watching... You guys know Machine Gun Kelly, Raise the Flag? Do you guys know that one? I've been watching some of song. the old vlogs that he's... Um, he, he's he got... Don't y'all think you're going to get him? It's, they're unlisted. But mm -hmm. um, 
I'm wondering if some of those aren't coming up recommended because they show you, they recommend things that... Where did it come up on? A ATX Tomahawk or... No, I watched your video. I watched That's why, yeah, because yeah. I... Mm -hmm. Isn't that weird though how it like... Yeah, so anyways, that was that. The eight, I honestly, I and I never listened to one song that Eminem did until he did that that one song with Rihanna. Um, which one? The the monster under the bed? No, the um burn or whatever. I love oh, the way oh, you lie. Love the way you lie. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, I wish we could come too, Andy. Of all. It was a bad, everybody traveling this weekend. That's why poor little Sawyer Brown has to go be boarded. Yep. We don't even have family here that can watch him. He's like, I, I do what I want. I do what I want. I'm going to I'm gonna go home with them. I'm not going to stay in no damn kennel. When he went to his parents' I agree, Lindsay. I like his older stuff, too. The Marshall Mathers album was pretty incredible. Is it like, what is he still routinely making things? He doesn't really have to, but like. Once every year or so, he'll, Selena, he'll, release, how are you? he'll release a single or do a collab with somebody, but he don't have to no more. I want him to do one with BB Rexa. That would be badass. Has she, what has she, has she done collabs with? Any rappers? Georgia, she, Florida Line. Yeah, she did it with, um, um, with Little Wayne. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it's a good song. If y'all don't know who BB Rexa is, it's B E B E, last name R E X H A. They might know her because of her, like, doesn't she have like a makeup line too or some like. I don't think so. We, it, it was. It's not a popular one. I think I saw it in either Target or Walmart. But she's got a. Oh yeah, you're yeah. right about that. You're right. Um, thank you guys. Um, yeah, she, she, her music is. She's got an amazing sound. It's something that is. She's unique. like Australian or something too. Is no, she? she's Afghani. Afghani. That's mm -hmm. that's what it is. Yeah. And so when they were asking her, cause she, she has a beautiful curvy body. Let me tell you what, she will not let them convince her. I mean, to, oh, I to remember. get scrawny she played it like the Like it was a playoff game and she was like playing on halftime and they, they had this big leather suit and she, she, she wore mm -hmm. it. She wore she the does leather not, outfit. Um, so that she's played at the Grammys a couple of times, but she's, she's a very pretty girl. She's gorgeous. And she, the song that she does with Georgia, Florida Lion is really good. And then the one with, um, and then you liked the, you think I'm crazy? I'll show you crazy. Yeah. But that was just one of her singles though. And it was one of her first songs. Yeah. It's a good, it's like. Man, anyway, Mandy introduced me to that. They also, you know, Georgia, Florida Lion. Remember when they did the, the remake of Cruise with um, Nelly? Yeah, they did. I remember yeah. that. I like their songs too, and I like that song "Mercy," and I think that's by them, right? Mm-hmm. Why are you putting that on? Cause it's gone. It all came off. Put it on mine. They, you want some? Mm -hmm. Do you want mm -hmm. some? Mm-hmm. You can't have it. No, okay. here. There's none on it though. I I can tell no, when his lips like are chapped. Like I'm this I'm is I'm like I'm the mom in me. If he comes from work and I can tell he has chapped lips or whatever. Um, I'll be like, here, and I'll go get the Carmex and start putting it on his lips. And he's like, how did you even know? And it's like, I can tell when someone's lips are chapped. You know, as a mom, you can tell when your kids have chapped lips. It gets red, you know? If you guys, when we sign off here in a couple of minutes and we move away from this table, we're both like, can barely walk. Yeah, neither of us. I, it... Walking around, and I even had shoes on, not good shoes, but I had shoes on. Walking around on concrete for a couple of days. It, it, it's a little bit shiny. It is. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, it's a little bit shiny. You always miss this little piece right here. I know, right like when I shave, I have this little He's afraid he'll cut his lip. And anyway. He's afraid he'll cut his lip. So no. Did you did you do that when you were in the Army too? You no, missed that little I spot? Don't care. I don't But you shaved it. But right? I never let it grow out like this. I mean, Did I was you shave shaving every, every morning. Yeah, oh yeah. You have to, right? Yeah, they make you. Well, and then if you didn't have a like lot it, of growth, by yeah. the time you shave every day in basic, you then do. yeah, like if you shave every day, it's going to grow quicker. Like if I was to shave and keep a clean face every single day, and then I didn't, it would grow in in like three or four days instead of like a week or whatever. Nice. You know, there's this old school thing. That my mom told me when, like, you know, your mom teaches you how to shave your legs when you're ready to shave your legs or whatever. And she told me this, and I've 
talk to more girls whose mothers told her the same thing because it was like an old school thing. She would, she said, don't shave above your knees because the hair comes in darker and the hair is longer. So don't shave above your knees. How many of mm -hmm. your moms, ladies, or I guess anybody told you not to shave above the knees and you were like, what? Uh, we didn't either. Selena says, I wanted to stop by and say, hey, I have some surgery tomorrow. I've got to get some oh. stuff down. Good luck, Selena. I mean, I, hope go, it's, I don't know what kind I hope of surgery it's you got, but um, thanks for dropping by. Yeah, thank you for coming by. Black we Dragonfly all, said, yep, no, don't shave above the knee. This dra Black Dragonfly, guys, she's no telling where she's typing that from. Could be Africa, could be Canada. She's like, oh, I'm in the Dominican. Could be down in South, South America somewhere. She could be right out the window. But um, she is well traveled. Yep, jo Jocelyn's did too. Africa in three weeks. See, told See, you. See, she did die always. Jocelyn says her mom did, and Jocelyn's only in her late twenties. Late twenties. Some football players sometimes shave their legs because they tape them up and stuff. So they. I remember a whole group of girls went to the Chippendales were in town. And every, it was when everybody was deployed in third ID. And it was, Makes sense. there was a whole lot of women there, but it was, it was harmless. It was just whatever. But I remember looking at them and I thought there's not one strand of hair on their entire body. And they're all wearing these like purple G string banana hammocks. And I remember when they stripped down, I remember thinking that is just not attractive. So you didn't want any Girls of this. can do it and whatever. I well, Someone yeah. made me go up there and he bit me on the neck. Oh, yeah, you told me about that. And I called the next day to the club and I was like, that dude bit me. Does he have his shots and everything? And I was like, I'm only half kidding. And Mandy, he did. He bit me on the neck. I remember, I remember you told me. You've told me about it. I mean, and it left a mark. And I'm like, you must be on something. But I don't, it just, there's, there's nothing to me attractive by about sweaty men, hairless sweaty men in banana hammocks. She likes old dudes. Gyrating around. I think sexier is dude in uniform, someone old in dude. a pair of jeans, like. Guy about 53. <laughs> her mom didn't Wait let her, Jocelyn's mom didn't let her shave until she 53, was 53. A Georgia Nike cap on. Oh, that's on, cool, Viola. Viola has know. blonde hair. She never had to shave above the knee. That type. What about your toes? How many shave the tops of their toes? And how often do you do it? Just when it needs it, or do you do it every time? Just things I wonder. Do you shave the top of your toes? Mm -mm. No, because you're a dude. I have I have hair. Nope, in. dragonfly doesn't shave the top of her toes. <laughs> Will it come back like really hairy if you do? Well, sometimes if it it'll get razor burn on it, just because it's like the the skin there tends to be a little bit more. Um, I think if you shave your feet, you see people with really hairy feet, I think it's because they shaved it. You think? I think. Or either that or they're a hobbit. They're not hairy, but... You're, you're, I'm not talking about you, baby. No, no, She said, I've, I don't have hairy toes. And I, look how swollen that thing is on the side. Wow. That's fucked up. Um, She's going to be... Don't let anyone see you limping. And they'll be saying, you know... Well, I'm limping for many reasons. It went into my, like, sciatic nerve because I was compensating Why are you for limping, walking, baby? honey. I know. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> we are going to go soon. He we has do. to work tomorrow, and I have to not kill myself cleaning the house. Yeah. I, we got to pack. We can do that I'm, Wednesday I, morning. I failed the first couple times I packed for him, and he was so... What, the first time, there was no underwear. No, none. And then I the did. next time, there was no socks. Yep. And he's so but good I mean, about it. He's like, I'm like, well, I mean, there are Walmarts in Colorado. I'll just buy some socks or, and Asians underwear. Asians don't have hair at all. Really? Asians don't have any body hair? I had no idea. Are you sure? Are you trolling me, Jocelyn? <laughs> she just threw that out there. Like, <laughs> to see if it... I don't, I, they've got to. Why wouldn't they? Now you've got me wondering. Very rarely do you see me and Mandy with our glasses on together at the same time. This is one Look of at this times. Dorian Gray's sister, whoever the hell that is. I had to pour myself a glass of wine because I just realized I only live about an hour and a half away from her in North Carolina. <laughs> yep. She's a legend around those parts. Yes, yeah, she is. Onslow County Courthouse has donated an entire wall to her. That's right. In her charges. She is, she's a legend like like, like the Yeti or the something. The Hall of like Shame. Like, like, this one failed, this one failed. Mm -hmm. 
Here's her divorce decree. Here's her. Here's this. <laughs> Here's when she beat the shit out of someone. Yeah. There's the <laughs> list of people that she's filed on. We just put them over there and just hang it off. Rhode Island gave us a few too, but we, right. we hung them up. She's got a box for each one. <laughs> she does. She's got a box for each of you. So I'm like, one time she was reading your vasectomy records. I'm like, can we get those? Maybe just take a screenshot of it. See, it's starting to do that thing. Um, <laughs> like take a screenshot or something, because when she read those, they told, they wrote details of how they performed the surgery. I mean, they, you know, they don't need a microscope or nothing, they just... Well, you get a bag of peas. I know. You ready? I'm ready. I know, right, Lindsay? I'm like, can we get some of the records that she reads, I'm like, can, can you take a screenshot of that or something, and can we get that? <laughs> I know. It might be good for can the... Can we reverse it? We'll try it ourselves. But, but... It's 10 o'clock. It is 10. If I am asleep in three minutes, I can get nine hours of you sleep. You won't be asleep in I won't. Three. I'm just saying. Yeah, that's so weird that... <laughs> that I do that. And, and, I then, and then if you and don't I, fall and, asleep, and I'll say to Mandy, I'll be like, if I go to sleep by 11 in an hour, I can get eight hours of sleep. And I won't. It'll be 1230. I'll still be playing my video game. It should be Last like, night, we video. both like yeah. went to sleep early. Thank you guys. Thank you we for appreciate the, the you guys. support and the super chats. And Hopefully we'll get a, a stream or two in before, but if not, yeah, we will. We will. Tomorrow we Lots will Lots of be. pictures. I'm hope at least I'm gonna get the our spot on our couch cleared away tomorrow. Yeah. That bothers some people late. Like, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Thank, thank you for you. the cash app tonight. Um did I mention that I have a vlog up? Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Go I love, watch Tomahawk Sean's I love vlog. how he, he, he gets, people get so bothered that he's like, because when he does his vlog and he's like, because, you know, I got this and that or whatever, and, and they get so mad, I'm like, he's like trolling <laughs> I, you guys I, while he's announcing. Yeah. I'm going to get back to, I mean, I'm a pretty good troll. So I mean, anyway, it says the things the, the, that the they channel know. is Tomahawk Sean. The vlog is called Let's Go to Court. If you scroll up. When you're done with us. Go right over there, give it a view. And if you don't like the video, go make a troll account. I'll show those next time. The the from my last vlog, there's a couple like trolls. Um, then they literally created their account to leave the to leave the comment. And I captured that and I got it in a little screenshot. So I'll show you all that next time. That's my point. When people feel overwhelmed, it's three people with yeah. five stock accounts. And when they get hidden, they go and create five more. So don't feel overwhelmed. Let me see this real quick before There's we no go. Light. We'll leave you with this one. There's no grandiose godfather that's like the great Oz, masterminding everything. It's like maybe four people if you include. Oh, she put the thing. Hey, Justine, you have a good night too. So here it is right here. Um, so if you go to my last vlog, you'll see the comment. And then I went to their channel, right? So it's called Beloved. And the comment was... Um, Mandy, stop telling Sean to go ahead as I, as he needs your, as he needs your permission to talk. So that comment was left. <laughs> I didn't know that's what the comment said. The comment was left two days ago and two days ago, the comment was left and the, what do you call it? The channel was made three, three hours or uh, three days ago. The other one's even worse. That wasn't even a good example. Where's the one other was one? six hours, right? Yeah. It, it's. And then some people would say that you yeah, don't Yeah, it's let this one. It's called The Archer. It's right here. Here's the comment, right? And then that's when it was created. So six hours ago, everyone brags about their life being great is lying. Mandy, Mandy literally doesn't know what it meant to sit on someone's face. And that comment was six <laughs> hours ago. So if you say the comment was made six hours ago and the account was created six hours ago, you can find that out. You can find that out. So. That person had to be altered in some way that I didn't know what it was to sit on someone's face. I figured it out. I used context clues and figured and the point it is, out. You can, you can go to the channel and it'll tell you when the channel was created. And Free mustache rides. Nine times out of too. 10 when you are, um, yeah, when you... When you write Jeremy's mom, Paula. So yeah. when you see, I mean, you guys leave comments and you're amazing, but when you see the one or two, unless it's tell for herself, she's got to come in. But when you look at the comments, they're typically um, with, um, channels that were just created. 
because we just block them. But I don't block them anymore. If there was something that, that was created an hour ago or and just to make a comment, I leave it. I don't the care. other thing is on Twitter, when someone creates a new account and leaves a really shitty thing mm -hmm. and adds you at it, let's say 10 people liked it from that thing. If you go through each and every person that liked it and block them, then they realize that that was <laughs> that, that they're not going to be able to see your shit anymore. That's another thing I'll do because people get so vocal about me blocking. If if it happens and there's like ten people, I'll go did he block did he block did he? And most of them are following me. Most of them. So Josh says Sean on some of your old streams in the comment section. There's a lot of accounts with new names, but the comments and that's what I'm saying. So you could have gotten into a an argument with somebody a troll three years ago. And their their name has been completely changed to something, and that's in it today. You can go back to those old streams, and their names will be changed there. And too. you can do it in DMs too. Yep. Go through your old DMs and Twitter's see, another one. See who people messaged you and whatever. And most of the time, they've changed their name, it, and you perfect. can figure yeah, out who they are. That's a perfect example. Mm -hmm. Go into your your DMs mm -hmm. and just you know because you probably have, and if it's like a hundred different people <laughs> through the last few years, and look at the ones that you haven't talked to. In two Stitchy. years, there'll be somebody that you literally had a, an argument with a few days ago. Stitching said, "There's probably mean comments from me." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's he's okay. Not, I mean, he's not, that one just the the whole. Um, if you go, the one that I did said Tomahawk sees a shrink. That was the first one that I did after I left, and it's everybody. But we were already talking. Yeah, we just started talking. Um, but literally, there's probably. 300 comments and it's like everybody in the DC, whether they like us or not now, they were in That's it. Funny. So, so anyway. Yeah, when I when I tried to be funny and like hide mine and his channel when I was in the hospital, I mean, there was a couple of reasons for doing it. Number one, I wanted everyone to think that we hit the road, that they <laughs> finally took us down. But what I didn't know is it deletes all of your comments. Like every comment from every video, when you unhide it, the, oh, wow. the comments don't it come back. It took a couple of days for the subs to even come back. Yeah, yeah. So, so um, that sucks. But yeah, I was, I yeah, was. They're, they're giving us. They're giving us like I was loving the um, sitting there because really, when you're not sick and you're sitting there while they drip iron and and blood, which I'm very grateful that that. But you're not sick. You're just kind of stuck. I was loving when I they were like, yes, they finally got their channel. Terminated for what? What would we get our channel terminated And then when for? we came back, you know, the comments were like, they ran for a reason. She's not in the hospital. It was, it, it was pretty funny. Yeah. Good night, y'all. Yeah, have a good night. Thank you, guys. See